Right guys, welcome to the next video. Batteries, batteries, alloys. There's more alloys in there. Um, there's more batteries in there. I've got a working strimmer, I've got a working edge trimmer. I've got a strimmer from a pal who wanted one. Pretty much a brand new grinder. Um, a big massive shout out to, um, to Charlie. Um, he rang me up the other day, messaged me the other day and said he had a lot of scrap and there's some, there's some good scrap in there. He's done me a right turn. Um, there's little batteries. A um, couple of these though I'm keeping for myself because uh, they'll be ideal for my fish finder for my boat. There's more car batteries in there. There's another one up. There's, there's about, I, I, I did pick up some from my auntie as well so a big shout out to my auntie. Um, my uncle does up uh, Volkswagen campers, the old ones. Um, and he's been, he's got, he's had stuff for years and years and years that he's been collecting. So, um, I just went up there the other day and cleared some of this stuff, a couple of old jacks and bits and bobs, more car batteries and other bits and bobs. There's so much gear in here, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, it's Sunday now, um, so I can't do anything really with it today. I was just trying to get a bit, I was trying to get the alloys out and the batteries to be fair, just to make a bit of room because being Sunday, I'm going out with the family in a minute to be fair for a few hours down the coast, going to spend some money in the arcades, but, um, I just, I ain't done a video for over a week. I have had scrap piles, to be fair, but I ain't really done much, like, curbside scrapping, if you like. It's all been pickups, and it's hard to record. But I thought I've got so much decent stuff here. I've, I've really, I, I've got to do a bit, I've got to do a video for you. Um, there's a brand new uh, bike thing there that you put your push bike on, you can play with it indoors. Not play with it, but you know what I mean, ride it indoors. There's a couple of these welding magnets as well, which I should keep, because it's, well, it's nice to have a magnet and know what's what then. Um, so I, well, that won't be in the way up there. Um, yeah, I mean, there's loads of stuff. I also went out to my nan's, um, so my nan had an old cooker for me, uh, microwave as well, which is there, and a few other bits and bobs. This bag is full up with all sorts of stuff. I ain't got a clue what it is. Um, there's also a couple of other bits in there from Charlie, uh, wheels and stuff that I need to cut the tyres off. But yeah, it's not a problem. It's one of them things. Um, there's starter motors in there from me, aren't they? Three or four starter motors. Um, there's boxes with loads of nuts and bolts in, and it's just about to piss hard by the looks of it, great. Um, yeah, I've got some uh, water valves. My brother works in the water, so he's been bringing home all of his cast iron water pipe for me. But there's a big valve on that one, and it's full of brass, which I need to have a look at to see if it's... Yeah, I think there's enough brass in there making it worth cutting it open, but is it going to be too much hard work just to get it open? Because as you can see, it's caked in mud. But it's a big old thick bit of pipe. And then it goes on probably for like half the length of the van. Um, so there is, yeah, like I say, there's there's a lot in here. Um, but obviously, when I get to the scrapyard tomorrow, I will um, I will film it all. Then I'll get my GoPro set up so we can see what I've actually got. Um, I say this streamer, this petrol streamer works, but I can't get it out because it's buried. Hopefully, it still works. Um, there's loads of wiring in there. There's a cooker hob. There's a barbecue up the back as well. Big barbecue again from Charlie. So cheers, mate. Thank you. He's been a subscriber of my fishing channel for ages. And now he's subscribed to my scrap channel. So um, thank you very much, dude. Oh, there's, honestly, there's untold stuff in there. I, I, don't even, I don't even know what's in it. But I know there's a load more car batteries. There's another there's a battery there. There's another starter motor there. Um, that's my drill. Um, what else we got? Oh, that was my bit of gear that I had the other day, cut the motors and a bit of cable, but yeah, like I say, loads and loads of gear, we'll have a good look at it when I get to the scrapyard tomorrow, but right now I'm just going to run these few bits indoors, I've got a little bit of room so I can pick up anything this afternoon when I get back, because Sunday afternoon, like I say, is normally my best time to find a few bits, but then with the rain, will anyone be out doing anything in their garden or whatever, who knows, oh, there's under there as well, you can just about see that little bit of chain down there, it's a massive Great big block and tackle again for me, aren't they? And that weighs, and oh, it don't weigh a ton, obviously, but it feels like it weighs a ton. Um, right, guys, I'm going to get all this lot put away, and I'll, um, well, you'll see me in the morning at the uh, scrapyard. Right, so obviously at the scrapyard. Pile of batteries, pile of alloys, and I'm just doing other bits while I'm getting stuff out. Right, the microwave. which is in four screws.
bag of monk or don't quite know what's in it. I don't know what that is, but we'll see if we can put it in as a rubber. Old tin flash. Nice. Loads of old tap and dies and bits. for um, concrete chemi fixing. It was in the skip, but 
I know there. There was a few nice bits of brass in there. So we'll have them out. Assuming they're just filters. Yeah. Mercedes. Little brake discs, look. Pad side. So that's a motor, I'll take that. See how this shot, they pay more for motors than they do for batteries. Okay. 
loads of it. Well, I need this massive water fitting down here. It's meant to be full of brass, but I don't really know if it's going to be worth me taking it out. To be honest, I want it all gone today. Um, there's another bloody battery there, yeah, look. Another battery in a box. Um, yeah. I don't know whether to bother having a little look. I might have a little look. Um, but basically, I've got another rattle in there, cut the steel rims. These ones can't go, obviously, because they've got tyres on. I'll get the motor out of that. I'll get, the, obviously, the barbecue out and the other bits out. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll take you over to the non-ferry side and we'll, um, we'll see what we get for it all. And obviously, I'll bring it back and show you how much money I made. Right, so we're at the other scales now. Um, and I've cleaned out the van best I can. Everything's all in there. Piles, if you like. Alloys, I've got a couple more up there that I've got to dig out in a minute. Batteries, motors, I've got a bit of stainless. Um, and everything else can stay and I'll save it up. Um, but I'm going to hand you over to my assistant. Can you start with the batteries down, yeah? Yeah. Is it like your one, man? Not good. Cams, good luck, Sam. Dan wants an efficient. Yeah. <laughs> You'll be auctioning every weekend. Oh, well, well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's it, mate. Yeah. That's your lot. 50 kilos of uh, motors. Right. That wasn't bad. Right, we'll go over there and we'll find out what the crack is and I'll bring you back. Right, guys, so there we go. <clears throat> so, uh, 
My iron went in as shearing, which was nicer. 230 a ton, 612 kilos, paid 140 quid. The batteries, 116 kilos, 52 pound. Uh, the uh, the alley wheels was nice, 63 kilos for 8190. Uh, motors was what 50 kilos, 27 quid, 27.50. Stainless only had four kilos, but I, I just wanted it all off my van, so three band 60. Brake disc was two, but it, it's more than oh, it's 230. I would have got it shearing anyway, so there's no difference. Um, and three kilos of alley for two band 70. So all in all, 311 pounds. Massive shout out to Charlie, mate. Thank you very much for the scrap you gave me the other day. Um, and, uh, well, shout out to me, Arnie, but she won't be watching, so she won't know. Um, guys, again, thank you for watching. Um, it's actually doing all right, this channel. It's doing better than I thought it was going to do. Um, I'm getting a few subs on it now, which is nice. Um, just got to get them watch hours up. Um, so, anyone, again, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, and if you could share the video with your mates or whatever, or anyone else you know that might be interested, um, anyone that's thinking of getting into it, whatever, um, that'd be great. Also, if you haven't, uh, if you're into fishing, you haven't checked out my other channel, Fish Hunt in the UK, please do. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of driving around now. Um, I've just done a little gardening job. That's now done. I've got a couple of hours until I go fishing, so I'm gonna go and have a little drive about, see if I can find anything. Um, if I do, I'll record it today. I'll, I'll do my best to remember um, and then that'll be the start of the next video but cheers all, thanks for watching